Hello, Aubrey. How are you today? I'm great. How are you, Jessica? I am awesome because we get to do a vocabulary episode today. And these are some of my favorite episodes. And today's vocabulary, you guys, oh my gosh, so much band nine vocab. Um, so great for problem solution essays, topics about crime and education. I mean, this episode today, as Lindsay would say, is gold. <laughs> it is gold. Yes, Lindsay is right. If she were here, she would say that. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be able to use this to increase your vocabulary on any task to on any IELTS essay. It's mm -hmm. so useful. These are the meaning of these verbs we just need all the time. It's so good today, guys. So make sure to hit follow right now so you don't miss another IELTS episode. We have two brand new episodes every week for you guys. And I want to thank Spotify subscriber Verdaqua. I'm not sure if I said that right, but there's a Verde, lot of... It's probably Verde Aqua, right? Like, like green water, oh, maybe? That's probably right. All one word. I got confused. <laughs> right? Anyways, probably. Verde Aqua, thank you. Uh, this person said, can you guys talk about synonyms of elicit and arouse for writing and speaking. And by the way, I do love your podcasts. XOXO from Italy. Well, XOXO to you, Verde Aqua, from us. Guys, leave us a question um, or review anywhere you're listening to this podcast right now. Um, so today's vocabulary, as we said, is amazing. And this is one way, guys, that you will increase your IELTS scores, just like our amazing Three Keys student, Kieran, who went from a 7.5 to an 8.5 in listening, a 7 to a 9 in writing. No, sorry, reading. 7 to a 9 in reading, 6.5 to 7 in writing, and 6.5 to 8 in speaking. And guys, I can tell you, vocab and the three key strategies are <laughs> the main way he did that, right? So check out allersenglish.com slash K-E-Y-S and stay until the end of today's episode for all of the vocab. Yes, right, exactly. Be sure to hit follow here on IELTS Energy so you're not missing any of our amazing podcasts. Let's dive in here first with elicit. I love this question. I love this vocab. I'm excited for you guys to be able to use this on IELTS to boost your vocabulary scores. So elicit is a verb. Um, it means to to evoke, to draw out, but it's a specific meaning, right? You can't just elicit anything. Like I can't elicit a chip from a bag, like bring a chip right. from a bag, right? Elicit is about information, right? You elicit a response. You elicit an answer from someone. So what are some example IELTS sentences with this word? Yeah, for example, if the government offered more incentives, they could elicit a more positive response from the public. Mm -hmm. So you can see how you could just say get. They could get a more positive response. That's band yeah. four, five, right? right? Elicit is band nine. Students don't use it often. A hundred percent. And here's another one, maybe for speaking. Even on part one, you're talking about your job, right? You could say, as a manager, I try to elicit for my employees Oh, sorry, elicit ideas for my employees as much as possible instead of just making all the decisions myself. Um, so you can see, guys, how we can use band nine vocab even in part one. Because if you're talking about your job, you can use professional, formal vocabulary. Exactly. And there are a lot of synonyms that are also very high level that we want to share as well. For example, evoke, it has the same meaning, right? You can evoke a reaction. You can mm -hmm. evoke something from someone. So if you use elicit and you have that same meaning, don't say get, right? Use a synonym. You could also say extract to extract a reaction from someone, meaning to intentionally bring it out of someone. Yeah, I think um, I think it'll be useful to just remember, try to remember these with one collocation, right? So elicit is for information, elicit an answer, elicit a response, elicit ideas. Um, evoke is usually connected to emotions, right? Feelings. So for example, the song Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> evokes strong nostalgia for me, um, as does any song really from the 90s if it's an alternative hit. So to evoke nostalgia, to evoke a feeling or emotion. Um, what about extract? Now extract could be for like literal physical things, right? 
Yes, exactly. So for example, you could say, I think anyone who harms children should be extracted from society forever. So here we're saying they should be removed. The people should be physically removed, right? Then you mm -hmm. might say, I don't know how I feel about capital punishment, honestly, but these types of criminals should be put away forever. That phrasal verb put away meaning sent to prison. And yep, that is my that is my true opinion right there. Nice. Um, <laughs> so, guys, when you're learning synonyms and new vocab like these, now if you go to the thesaurus, it looks like all of these words mean the same thing. They don't. We do not use them in the same way. Okay, so pay attention today because I we need you guys to remember that each of these words should be combined with only one specific thing, right? So you make sure to use yes. it correctly. And then here's an informal phrasal verb that you see as a synonym, but is not exactly the same, to bring out. So it's a phrasal verb. It's informal, right? Bring out is more general. So it could be used for all of the things we're using to where we gave you examples for today, but it's informal. So let's keep it to light topics for part one. Like if you're asked about the weather. Sunny days really bring out the best in people. So that's a collocation with bring out. Bring out the best in people, bring out the worst in people. And then you could say the weather does totally affect people's moods. Yes. Oh, this is the best way to use it as a chunk like that. It brings out the best in me, brings out the best in people. Yes. And like you said, Jessica, these phrasal verbs are just a little bit more informal. So perfect for part one or part two. So we also wanted to provide you with another word that sounds the same as elicit, elicit, except it starts with an I, right? So elicit the verb that we just talked about is E-L-I-C-I-T, but the next one is an adjective, I-L-L-I-C-I-T, but we say it the same, right? Elicit, okay? Um, what does it mean? Yeah, this means illegal, right? You might hear elicit illicit activities, illicit mm. drugs. This should yeah. mean something that's prohibited by the law or is just sort of unauthorized, is not allowed, yeah. whether by the law or by some kind of rule. Exactly. And it could, yeah. So if you, again, like you need a native speaker to ask about this stuff, because if you just look at the dictionary, a lot of definitions just say illegal. But that's not how we use it all the time. We also use it to describe, like Aubrey said, behaviors that go against rules or moral codes. Maybe it's not an official law, but it's still a rule. So it makes I often that hear it collocated with yeah. an affair, right? An illicit exactly. affair if someone is yes. not being loyal to their spouse, right? So you'll hear totally. it for things that aren't necessarily illegal, but like Jessica said, are immoral. Exactly. So what is um, an example IELTS sentence for this? Yeah, you might hear illicit drugs are a problem in my city and the local police have been cracking down lately, meaning they're Ooh. taking it more seriously. They're, they're out trying to make a difference. That phrasal verb though, well, an idiom as well to crack down on something. So um, that is an idiom. So I wouldn't use it in writing task two, but mm. speaking for sure. One more time, Aubrey, what does it mean when we say the police are cracking down on something? It means to be getting more serious about something, to be putting in more effort to try yeah. to stop something. Awesome. Oh my gosh, there's... There's so much vocabulary today, guys. Um, all right. So the next word that Verde Aqua asked about was arouse. So this is a verb and it means to stimulate action or to cause an action or cause a feeling or behavior, right? Um, what are some examples? Now you might say her comments aroused a heated debate. I mean, mm. it led to, it sparked a heated debate. Or if people speak up against injustice, it will arouse interest in policymakers. Nice. So you can see how this is just a much less common, more formal, more impressive way of saying cause. It will cause this to happen. Exactly, exactly. Um, so what are a couple synonyms? Yeah, so first, induce, which means mm, nice. to succeed in persuading or influencing, really mm -hmm. means the same as to arouse. You might say the advertise induced me to purchase a new computer. Really, it means it caused you to do. It's a little tricky. We use this in a different way, right? We wouldn't say that something aroused in me a desire to buy something, right? We're talking more when we talk about when we use the verb arouse. Um, it's more like it causes emotion in you that yeah. creates something. Right. And again, you look in the dictionary and it says to stimulate action. Right? right. But like Aubrey just said, 
that's not often how we use it. We use it to describe feelings and emotions that are brought up in us because of something, right? right. Um, okay, fantastic. So guys, we went through so much vocab today. I hope that you made a lot of notes. Come back to the blog, allearsenglish.com slash IELTS, and we will put the list of today's vocab in there for you. Awesome. Yes. Practice using this in your answers. You don't want to always say get. We talked about this recently, right? These are much more impressive, higher scoring verbs that you can replace in the correct context. Exactly. All right. Awesome. Thank you for joining me on this vocab episode, Aubrey. Awesome. Thanks, Jessica. See you next time. Bye. Bye.